What's up, YouTube? So before we get started with this video, on first take, they're going to be talking about James Harden and does he deserve to be a first-team All-NBA player? So let's see what they have to say about that. Does Harden deserve to be first-team All-NBA? Nope. Oh. First of all, deserve's got nothing to do with it. Either you are or you aren't, and I'll explain that in a second. But you want to use deserve, fine. The answer is no. There is no such thing as the regular season. I'm, I'm dumb done with this. I don't care what the rules are. There is simply a season. The postseason in basketball is up to two months long. Those are the most important games by far. It's not that the regular season doesn't count. As I said, it's one big season. The postseason is simply much more important. Almost every MVP caliber player who's ever lived has, team has made the playoffs. Not everyone. AD, you know, they didn't make the playoffs this year, but almost. Hold up, Max. Uh, LeBron James didn't make the uh, playoffs this year. He didn't make them at all. And Max, you got to stop messing with that bath salts, man, because your logic is just completely out the window. So let's keep going. Everyone, I don't want to hear about the regular season. We're talking about the season as a whole. And I don't want to hear about positions. We're playing positionless basketball. Stop it. As long as you're not taking five guys under 6'6", six, six, you know, uh, you're fine. And by the way, how tall is Draymond Green? Because you could play him at the five, right? No. Here's what it is, people. This is really simple. Uh, is LeBron all NBA, yes or no? KD, Kawhi, the freak, Steph. That's five dudes. And I could fill every position with those five dudes. Where's James Harden? Not there. I'm sorry. And here's the real simple way to do it. I talk about this in boxing. You want to know who won a round? Well, it's effective aggression and the defense. No, no, no. Who would you rather have been that round? That tells you everything you need to know. So let me ask you this. If these various players are available, tell me when you're taking Harden. You can have him on your team. The Greek Freak's available. You want Harden? KD's available. Do you want Harden? Kawhi, LeBron, Steph. Tell me when you're taking Harden over one of those five guys. The answer is you're not and you uh, I don't think so, Max. I would take James Harden. I would play as James Harden with uh, LeBron James. Since we're playing positionless basketball, I would definitely take James Harden over LeBron James if we're, we're going strictly by the standards of what happened during the regular season. Because during the regular season, James Harden absolutely balled out. He had, what, 32 consecutive games of 30 points or more. He scored 30 points on every team he played against last year. James Harden absolutely balled out, carried this squad pretty much by himself. I know Chris Paul was there, but... He pretty much did it by himself. Now, look at LeBron James. How many games did LeBron James miss? I know he missed a lot of games. That might be a, a, a part of the reason why they didn't make the playoffs. But they were kind of rocky before James, uh, before LeBron James got hurt. I know they were in fourth or fifth place, I think, in the West before he got hurt. But LeBron James was having a couple of games there where he was missing two or three free throws that could have put them over the edge to uh, have a better record. But that's neither here nor there. Whatever the, whatever the case is, they didn't make the playoffs. Okay, they didn't make the playoffs. So if you want to go by that, I got to go with James Harden over LeBron James because James Harden did enough during a regular season that he can get to the playoffs. And now getting to the playoffs, that's a whole different story because everybody knows James Harden is good to choke. But guess what? He at least made the playoffs and LeBron James didn't. So I would take LeBron James, I would take uh, uh, James Harden over LeBron James if we're playing positionless basketball. So let's continue. No it. It gives me no pleasure to say that about James Harden. I had a, an inkling, I had a feeling that I was going to be sitting here this time this year saying James Harden did it. He flipped the script. He goes from the poster child for choking, uh, you know, as an MVP caliber player in the regular season and then choking when it mattered most to a guy who's figured it out the way LeBron did. LeBron choked in the finals and then eventually figured it out. I can't sit here and say that, and therefore he is not all NBA. He is all NBA, Max Kellerman. But see, we're not talking about, again, you need to separate the playoffs because in the, during the regular year, James Harden did not choke at all. As a matter of fact, he balled out. He balled out and definitely played better than LeBron James. Again, I know LeBron James is hurt, but Max, the, the awards are for the regular season. Adding on to playoffs, it just doesn't make sense because that's not part of it. That's not part of it. You can't make up your own rules. So whatever... Your, your own rules don't fit the system of the judgment of the players. So it doesn't, it's not going to really work. But anyway, let's keep going. Um, you said it yourself a few months ago, or rather a few weeks ago, when you had him as a top two candidate for league MVP honors. Uh, we have a difference of opinion in terms of, but it's just philosophical. So I understand where you're coming from, and I get that. This is what the point that I need you to understand. James Harden. 
averaged 36, about 750 plus point games, five consecutive months with at least one 50 plus game, 50 point plus game, 32 straight games of scoring over 30, over 30 points against each of the, the 29 teams in the NBA. Doing it without Chris Paul for about 24 games. Doing it without Clint Capella for anywhere from 10 to 13 games. Doing it without Eric Gordon earlier on as well. Doing it playing for Mike D'Antoni. Uh, you know, when obviously your defense is somewhat compromised and every possession goes through you and everybody knows it but still can't be able to stop you. This is not about what player you'd prefer. This is not what about what player is better. This is not about what better player is better in the postseason. It's a regular season. And, Max, I think that I'll sway you with this notion. Let me go away from the all-NBA team for one second to tell you something. And I need to say this on national television about these folks because I absolutely detest what they've done. On a part of the NBA and a part of the NBA Players Association, I'm calling both of them out. You know that award ceremony that they're going to have? I think it's like June 24th where everybody receives their honors. I think it is the most representative thing that could exist let me explain why you ask fans to pack the stadiums 41 nights a year let me ask you a question max if you get the league mvp award don't they have the right to see and to cheer their guy on don't you think it would be better for a player to hoist that trophy above for everybody to to to, to cheer on and to send applause upon that individual for the exceptional season that they've had when chris when when, when the commissioner commissioner stern back then shows up in chicago to give derrick rose that mvp award in front of that chicago fan at the united center that was something that was absolutely positively special but yeah. yeah, I know, Stephen. That was beautiful and all that. But we need to get back to this James Harden and LeBron James being picked over him. So using uh, Max Logic, if he wants to not just worry about the regular season, he wants to go to the regular, or the regular season and the playoffs and judging players. And he wants to take players strictly that ball out in the playoffs and not work and not really have it just be the regular season. Well, if that's the case, then he can't take LeBron James then. He'd have to go with James Harden over LeBron James because James Harden made it to the playoffs where Max's criteria extends to. So you'd have to take James Harden over LeBron James using Max's logic because LeBron James didn't even make the playoffs. And that's where uh, Max's logic extends to. He wants to be the, the whole season, the regular season and the playoffs to, to be considered. If that's the case, then you can't run with LeBron James because he didn't even make the playoffs. So James Harden gets in there by default just by making the playoffs. And he choked during the playoffs, but at least he made it. At least he made it. So let's keep going. And now they've got us waiting until the end of the season to find out who's awarded at a banquet amongst their peers, leaving the fans to watch on television and not have those home fans there to cheer you on and thank you for the exceptional season that you've given them. This is what I'm talking about here. Everything ain't about the postseason. The regular season matters for a reason because there's 82 games that people pay to watch, pay to come see. And what you do from the end of October to mid-April matters. It doesn't matter as much as your postseason success for those teams that are in the postseason, but half the league doesn't make the postseason, yeah, but the league, and most of the league ain't even contenders. So it's got to matter doesn't for make something. The post, half the league doesn't make the postseason because they don't have an all-NBA player. I mean, like, the, the AD's team didn't make the postseason this year, and in fact, that's why I don't have them in the top five. I can't see a Steph Curry team missing the postseason, so I can't put AD over Steph, even though my inclination is to... Wait a minute, did Max just say he can't put AD over Steph because he didn't make the playoffs? But wait a minute, so yesterday, I could have swore Max put... Uh, Anthony Davis over Steph Curry. As a matter of fact, Max Kellerman made a top five list that had what? Um, um, uh, what? Kevin Durant, I think LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Giannis, and I think James Harden. And he put all those players above Steph Curry. When I said that, you know, there's no way you could put Giannis in there above Steph Curry or Anthony Davis when they've never even made it to the finals let alone won a championship, and Steph Curry did. But you're going to put those ranked above Steph Curry? I could have swore Max said that yesterday. I'm pretty sure he did. And now he's saying he's struggling to put Anthony Davis above Steph Curry? 
So what that shows me is that Max is clearly messing with the bath salts. Clearly. He's clearly sniffing bath salts off stage. He's got to be. He's got to be. Because his logic is all over the place. All over the place. So I don't know. Let's keep going. Do so. I don't. I think it's very, very, very rare in the history of the NBA that an MVP caliber player is on a non-playoff team. I understand they don't advance in the playoffs, but a non-playoff team, it's exceptionally rare. And I'll say this about the regular season. I- so let me hold up Max again. I'm sorry, I'm stopping. But Max says that majority of the time, the all-star players make it on teams that make the playoffs. Well, I don't know if that's necessarily true because look at Klay Thompson. Klay Thompson didn't even make a, a, the third team. But he's, he's, his team's probably going to win it all. And he's not even ranked on there. But you have LeBron James ranked on there, and he didn't even make the playoffs. But Klay Thompson doesn't even make it the third team All-NBA. Something's wrong. Okay, something's wrong here, seriously. And if I was Klay Thompson, I would be pissed. I would be pissed if I didn't make the All-Team team and you got guys on there that missed a month and a half for us to play. They didn't even make the playoffs. I'm working on a three-peat. I'm working on four or five years, and I can't even make 13? Oh, I'll be sick. Let's keep going. I understand what you mean about paying customers. I love the NBA postseason, right? And I love the fact that it's two months as a fan. I've always been a fan of the NBA. You get geeked about the fact that it's a two-month-long postseason. But in life, there are always trade-offs. Always trade-offs. If this gets better, something else has to give. And when you have such an important postseason where over 50% of the teams make it, 16 out of 30 teams make it into the postseason, you are necessarily devaluing the regular season. You just can't have it both ways. So that's a trade-off the NBA makes, and I'm not mad at them for it. But that's the fact. The regular season is simply less important than in other sports but, because so many teams make the playoffs. So, so when you have these awards for regular season, on. all NBA, I think they should do, real uh, quick, I think they should do three things. One, you can do that award if you want. Two, before you get to the finals award, I think you need playoff, postseason awards. And then three, 